Morning class 12. Moving on with the next functional group for organic sample. Today's functional group is aldehydes. We've already done ketones, now it's the turn for aldehydes and you very well know in your theory you've done two tests for aldehyde that is Tollens test and the Fallens test. Both Tollens and Fallens reagents are mild oxidizing agents and they are required for testing aldehydes because aldehydes are easier to oxidize as compared to ketone. Ketone you require a carbon-carbon cleavage to get it oxidized to carboxylic acid so it is tough. So Tollens and Fallens tests are not applicable to ketones but they are applicable to aldehydes. But I would be doing both the tests in front of you preparing the solutions also. The sample given to me is this. Since it is a colorless liquid is what you would mention. That is the first physical state. Moving on to the second that is the odor. No specific odor. So you can write no characteristic odor. You cannot identify by the smell. So since there is no change in the smell. Moving to the third. The third is to identify the acidity or the basicity. The response to the pH. So I will be taking my pH paper which is peach in color. I'll just put it into the solution to see the change. Okay, this is the change observed. As you can see, it is going from yellow towards greener, which means it is going towards 7 ish. So the pH is 7 ish, which shows that it is neutral. Fine, so the aldehyde sample given to you is a neutral sample. Now we require the tests to be done. For the test, the first test that I am doing is the Fellings test. For the Fellings test, you require a Fellings reagent to be prepared. How do we do that? We first take Felling A. Whatever amount, don't take too much. 1 ml is more than enough. This is Felling A, which is a copper sulfate solution, blue in color. And then you need to add Felling B to it, almost the same amount. So it is roughly 1 ml. I am adding another 1 ml of the Felling B solution. Please observe the change carefully. You can see the color is changing to deep blue. So this is my Fellings reagent, which is Felling A plus B in equal amounts. This Felling reagent has got your copper in copper 2 positive state. To this Felling solution, you will be adding your organic sample. This was my organic sample. You will directly add some amount of the organic sample into the Fellings solution. That's it. You can see no change. Since the temperature is low, we are in winters. You can judge it from my cap. Since we are in winters, this is not showing any test. So you need to heat it. All heating of organic sample should be done on water bath. The reason is they are flammable. So you would always have a water bath. There could be a different kind of a vessel used in your school. But or in any school, you can make a water bath out of a beaker with water. Now introducing this here, I will wait for this to happen and we will observe after some time. Till then I will perform the second test which is the Tollens test. For the Tollens test, I require the Tollens reagent to be prepared. You may get it in your labs but you should know the preparation of Tollens reagent because that's a viable question. So for Tollens reagent, you require silver nitrate. Silver nitrate, there is no need to get panicked to locate a silver nitrate solution. It is always in a dark colored water. Being photosensitive, it is always stored in a dark colored water. You can take around an ml of silver nitrate solution. I take it slightly more. To this, add one or two drops of NaOH solution. On adding NaOH solution to the silver nitrate, you can see it turns to a black PPT of silver hydroxide. Once this silver hydroxide is formed, you need to add ammonium hydroxide to it just that much so as to dissolve it. So this is my ammonium hydroxide. I will add it slowly with continuous shaking. Ah, that's it. Gone. So this is my Tollens reagent. Now I will wait for a minute so that we can observe the last test done. Please have a look at the solution cap. The felling AP and your aldehyde example gives you a reddish brown PPT which is of cuprous oxide. Cu2O is the PPT. So your blue color of felling reagent has changed to a reddish color due to the cuprous oxide formation. Moving on to the Tollens reagent again. The Tollens, to the Tollens reagent I would now be adding my sample. This is the Tollens reagent and this is the sample which was given to me. This I just prepared it in front of you. Adding the sample to the Tollens reagent. Nothing happens initially. 
and it would happen only when you put it into the water bath. wait for a minute and you can observe a change brown color dark color also is an indication after a minute if i keep it you can see clear deposition of silver onto the test tube this silver deposited on the inner side of the test tube shows that your tolerance reagent which had silver plus has changed to silver zero that is the oxidation state of silver has changed from plus one to zero showing that the tolerance reagent has undergone reduction and your aldehyde has undergone oxidation and this formation of silver deposition on the test tube is an indication that the organic compound given to you was an aldehyde. Fine. So the two tests that we have done were fellings changing to reddish brown. It is depositing. If you can see it below, you can see the orange colored uh, PPT at the bottom and you have a silver mirror on the other side with the tolerance region. So these are the two tests. This is most commonly asked also so be prepared for the viva and for the practicals i hope you do well in the practicals of class 12 bye